So to me, Joe Biden's ads thus far against Donald Trump have been largely hit or miss. I think that anytime he goes after Donald Trump for bungling COVID-19 and the response to the pandemic, I think he does a really good job. When it comes to ads where he tries to, you know, describe what he wants to do, there's usually no policy substance. It's just platitudes. Uh, but still, I think that even like the worst Joe Biden ad is still better than the best Hillary Clinton ad. So in terms of the media game that they're playing, I think he's doing a so-so job. Um, although one ad that Joe Biden released finally resonated with me. And I like this ad so much, I kid you not. This might be my favorite political ad ever. And it's one of those ads where, you know, your opponent says something in the ad basically writes itself the attack ad writes itself well donald trump was at a rally and he said look if i lose to joe biden an idiot like joe biden i'll be so embarrassed i won't even be able to show my face again i'm paraphrasing but uh joe biden's team took that little clip and turned it into a 10 second ad and this is brilliant take a look if i lose to him i don't know what i'm gonna do i will never speak to you again you'll never see me i'm joe biden and i approve this message I did not think I would be doing this, but, um, <laughs> good job, Joe Biden. That is a damn good ad. Simple, um, not much effort put into it, but you don't need it. I think that this ad is, it's important because it's short, so you can run this everywhere before every single YouTube video, before, you know, um, uh, primetime television, but it also, it really speaks to something that we haven't seen from Joe Biden, and that is self-awareness, right? Because this isn't necessarily an election where people are excited about Joe Biden. Like, this is an anti-Trump election. Most people who are voting for Joe Biden are doing so because they don't like Donald Trump. So there's this tacit admission with this ad that, hey, I acknowledge that I'm not that exciting, right? But if you uh, vote for me and we beat Donald Trump, he's saying he'll go away forever. I know you don't like me, but I know that you don't like Donald Trump more. So vote for me and Donald Trump will go away forever. Like, it's it's a good ad. It's a good ad. It's self-aware. And it's exactly what you need. Like, Trump says so many idiotic things to where you could just take that small clip and make an ad like this and just put a, you know, I'm Joe Biden, I approve this message at the end, and then it's good enough. Like, Trump has been campaigning against himself, shooting himself in the foot repeatedly, to where I think that doing things like this, it's it's clever to, you know, create ads off of things like this. But on top of that, I think it's effective. I think it's effective because people are irritated with Donald Trump. People want Donald Trump to go away. Like, I get he has his cult base of diehards who will never leave him, but most of the country doesn't like Donald Trump. Remember, the Republican Party is a minority party, and even if they hold a majority of power in government, they are still a minority party. And over the last four years, even if you're like me and you hate Democrats, listening to Donald Trump, watching Donald Trump, living through a Donald Trump presidency and the Don Donald Trump era is exhausting, and I would want for nothing more than to see Donald Trump go away forever. So, you know, he's really playing on that anti-Trump sentiment in an important way. And I think this ad is good. This is one of the best ads I've ever seen. Um, and that's not saying much, right? Because the bar is really low. But at the same time, like, this is what you've got to do. People are anti-Trump. They're not pro-Biden. And, you know, if you look at public opinion polls, it's not like people are excited to support Joe Biden because of any policies. Most people probably can't name a single policy that Joe Biden is offering to voters. It's just he's not Donald Trump. He's the one person who stands between Donald Trump and another four years in the White House. So I'm voting for Joe Biden. That's the sentiment from Americans across the country. There's not much excitement, if any at all, for Joe Biden. So I'm glad that it's it's seeming like he's recognizing that and he's playing to it because it is one of his strengths. Just not being Donald Trump is a huge asset in this election. Now, that doesn't mean it's a foregone conclusion that Donald Trump will lose. I do think you have to offer people some policies. But still, like, th these types of ads, they're just damn good. They're clever. They're, you know, a little bit funny. It's charming. Damn good job, Joe Biden. Now, let's actually address whether or not Donald Trump would leave. Do I think that Donald Trump would go away? No. But so long as he doesn't have power, he will not be as politi politically relevant. So, you know, he won't create 
a news cycle with a single tweet or series of tweets. He just will be tweeting into the ether for the little cult that supports him. He can make lots of money off of his post-presidency book deals and TV shows or whatever. But I don't think he would go away. But is it nice to think about the prospect of never having to hear Donald Trump's disgusting loudmouth ever again? Yeah, it is. And this ad touches on that. So, um, look, it, it's it's surprising that I'm saying this, but Joe Biden's team put out a damn good ad. And um, if they keep doing stuff like this, where they just take Trump's own words and use it against him, um, <laughs> I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to work really well for them.